Welcome back students. I hope you all are much awaiting topics related to the course instrumentation and control systems ICS for R18 as well as R16 regulation under JNTH. Dear students, the course is tool and then its structure you are supposed to work out each and every concept and I am going to give you only the important concepts and the students taking this course should have strong foundation knowledge in the courses like thermodynamics and basics of electrical and electronics engineering and certain part of mathematics. Dear students, this course is all about the working principle as well as advantages as well as the construction and you are supposed to work out the diagrams only in pencil very neatly so that you could able to clear this course. Otherwise, it is very difficult for a student who is unable to work out each and every point which I am going to tell you now. The first question I have taken is all about the eighth question. It is all about the temperature versus speed versus position control systems along with the examples and the block diagram of a closed versus open loop control system is said to be one of the gunshot question for a speed and position control system it is working and about the servo mechanisms they may ask and transfer function of a measurement system and derive a transfer function of a second or first order a mechanical uh, system for a unit step input with a typical example. These all are the very important and repeated questions and we can expect as the unit phi is very short in its structure, you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which I have listed here along with its diagram. And the next I have taken into consideration unit 1. As unit 1, you will be getting two questions for sure that is for 30 mark. The functions of various elements of a generalized measurement system and the sources of errors in measurement system and their classification and elimination errors as well as static and dynamic characteristics of a measurement system and the static calibration. From this part, we can expect 1A as well as 1B. Dear students, how to write a theory paper? It is being uploaded in my channel to score a good marks please go and watch it to score out of out mark and the subject is all about the theory you can score good marks in this subject better write in good handwriting inductive versus capacitive transducers differences piezoelectric transducers and the theory working and application may be one of the very important question and photoelectric transducers and various transducers their theory and construction and resistance versus ionization their differences the students have taken into consideration few points here and whichever the your faculty might have told few more important questions please do work out even those also why because I cannot expect which question comes in this course ICS why because it is too lengthy it is all about the measurement of temperature measurement of pressure as well as level and speed and strain stress strain measurement uh, uh, there are several several uh, methods under it and they are being classified into various categories so please do work out even the remaining also but I have come out only with few important concepts here which may which we can expect the other concepts also like the, the unit 2 we can expect two questions here different laws involved in thermocouple and the working principle I mean it is all about the measurement of temperature the second unit as well as the pressure concepts and the resistance thermometer draw measurement circuit using RTD and radio pyrometry versus optical pyrometry their differences and the laws of thermoelectricity construction and working of industrial thermocouple thermometer and expansion type bimetallic strip and its working principle uh, principles of measurements and their classify the different types next the board dent tube i mean from this part we can expect 4a as well as 4b and board dent tube c type spiral helical type and board dent tube gauges dear students please do work out each and every diagram very neatly and you need to understand and you should able to label them all the parts of the diagram then only you could able to work out this course ionization versus mcleod pressure gauge, hot cathode ionization gauge and thermal conductivity working construction. I hope you are looking everywhere from unit 1 to unit 5. It is all about the working construction advantages, limitations and applications need to be written very neat. As per the standard of this exam, I have made a how to write a theory paper on based on one question. The first question in my video, go and watch it to get out of outmark. 
fusible indicators versus critical liquid crystal, dead weight pressure gauge tester, diaphragm gauge versus bulk modulus versus bellows from this part we can expect 5A as well as 5B dear students. I mean to say that this unit is all about the measurement of temperature, measurement of pressure, its classification, working advantages as well as disadvantages along with neat diagrams dear students. I have taken even the third unit, it is all about cryogenic fuel level versus bubble, bubbler level indicators and turbine flow meter, rotometer is very very important in gunshot question and height wire anemometer is also very very important and piezoelectric accelerator and the purpose of accelerator principle of seismic instruments may be asked this times direct versus indirect measurement of level methods and capacity versus radio activity. This may be the 6 5 way as well as 5 B dear students. Dear students, you are supposed to work out each and every answer only in point wise and do not write paragraph wise turbine flow meter, vibrating speed tachometer, a drag cup and electric uh, tachometer type speed measurement, electric tachometer versus stroboscopic type as that is nothing but the non-contact type maybe is one of the very important question and laser drop polar anemometer, mechanical versus electrical, tach uh, electrical tachometer, their differences as well as magnetic versus ultrasonic type and their differences. These all are the questions very important and you please to work out even the other concepts also which you feel that is important but I have taken only few concepts here. I hope you are liking my videos and this is the last course exam which you are going to take under j 2 h for second year, second semester. I hope you have liked my videos and subscribed to my channel. Why? Because I am going to let you know even the coming semester questions as well as I am going to cover certain important concepts and related to engineering as well as technical as well as non-technical field of education may be covered in this channel. Please do share this with your friends and the juniors as well as the seniors too. Good luck and God bless you all.